Welcome to an introductory video on the Miracle Solutions 2015A release. This video gives an overview of 2015A and is part of the series of videos that showcases new features of the release, which will be available in November 2014. The Miracle provides a set of tools that supports a broad range of photonic and electromagnetic design and applications. For component level optical simulations, we have FDTT solutions and mode solutions. For electrical simulations, we have device. And in addition to the component level solvers, we can also use interconnect to simulate photonic integrator circuits and systems. The 2015A release is a synchronized release of all of Lumerical's products and includes enhancements in both the component level and circuit level solver capabilities. Let's start with the circuit level solver enhancements first. One of the main features of this release is that Interconnect now supports schematic-driven layout and layout-driven schematic in combination with Phoenix Software's Opto Designer. One can set up the circuit in Interconnect, simulate the circuit, and generate a corresponding netlist. Then Opto Designer can generate the layout implementation based on this netlist, and the actual waveguide implementation can be reported back for design iteration. A number of new compact models have also been introduced into Interconnect. This includes a new traveling wave electrode, which can account for effects such as the index mismatch, as well as microwave losses and impedance mismatch. The new dynamic ring modulator allows for static, quasi-static, and full time dependent analysis of micro ring resonators. There's also a new jitter source that allows for simulation of random and deterministic jitter for electrical signals. And new pre-emphasis options have been added for overshoot and undershoot factor and period to return to zero and not return to zero pulses. And now for the component level solver enhancements. A new PML absorbing boundary condition has been introduced to FDT solutions and the VAR FDT solver in mode solutions. This new implementation offers improved wave absorption as well as improved numerical stability. This will automatically result in faster and more accurate simulations. And for some examples, please take a look at the video listed on the link here. Lumerical now supports STL import which is a widely used format for rapid prototyping and computer-aided manufacturing. Users can import complex shapes using the OpenSTL format. And once imported, the STL import objects are treated as planar solid primitives in the Lumerical CAD, as you can see on the right side. Another structure primitive that was added is a new waveguide object. This allows a user to specify a four-sided cross-section with tilted sides and it follows a Bezier curve path. And users can specify different poles using the table editor on the right. This object makes it very easy to define planar waveguide geometries for integrated optics. The 2015A release also includes several upgrades to the eigenmode expansion, or the EME solver in mode solutions. And it significantly improves the solver's performance and usability. This includes the ability to introduce arbitrary source fields, MATLAB format support for source import and export from an EME monitor, as well as the ability to add monitors in analysis mode. Other useful properties include profile monitor smoothing for continuously varying geometries, the ability to set different mode solver properties for each cell group, and one of the most useful features is a new error estimation and analysis tools. Lastly, the mode solving and overlap calculation portion of the EME engine is now fully multi-threaded, and it should be significantly faster than the previous version. For electrical simulations and device, Lumerical has added comprehensive support for alloy semiconductor materials. There are significant updates and additions to the material database, and users can now specify spatially varying alloy composition and use new monitors to visualize the band structures. And for assessing the internal quantum efficiency of CMOS image sensors and photo detectors, new sources and monitors have been added to device. 
This includes a new point photo generation source, which acts as a point source for charge carriers. It allows users to assess how electrostatic fields can influence a charge carrier collection at the terminals, and therefore map out the likelihood of photo generated carrier collection. For more information on the 2015A release, or to download the latest version of Lumerical software, please visit our website at www.lumerical.com. To see other relevant videos for the 2015A release, including specific videos dedicated to each feature, please visit our YouTube channel. We also encourage you to connect with us on LinkedIn, YouTube, Google+, and Twitter.